Next, on the NASA Space Shuttle Status Report, Discovery returns home to Kennedy Space Center at the conclusion of the STS-120 mission to the International Space Station. Atlantis rolls out to the launch pad for STS-122. Pre-flight preps continue on Endeavour for the first mission of 2008. The NASA Space Shuttle Status Report starts right now. I'm Danny Dima, NASA Test Director, and this is the NASA Space Shuttle Status Report. At the conclusion of a 15-day flight to the International Space Station, the crew of Space Shuttle Discovery returned home to a warm welcome at the Kennedy Space Center. During the mission, the STS-120 crew continued on-orbit construction of the station with the installation of the Harmony Note 2 module, relocation of the P6 truss, and solar array repair. Following the successful repair work, the crew was able to fully deploy the solar array. They conducted a total of four spacewalks. Discovery also delivered a new station crew member, flight engineer Daniel Tani, who replaced astronaut Clayton Anderson. The crew members discussed their exciting mission with members of the media. It's great to be out here on this gorgeous day. Uh, a little breezy. Um, it's great to be back in Florida, especially the home of Discovery. We could not have done this mission without Discovery being as clean and beautiful as it was. Discovery worked perfectly, and I just want to say a big thank you to everybody at the Kennedy Space Center for everything that you do, because it takes the entire team to pull it together to launch a shuttle as clean as this. And that goes for the whole agency. I think the whole agency had to pull together for this particular mission. After landing, workers saved the orbiter, then towed it to Bay 3 of the Orbiter Processing Facility for post-flight services. The crew of mission STS-122 is the next to fly this December aboard Space Shuttle Atlantis. The newly made it orbiter, tank, and boosters slowly moved along the crawlerway from the vehicle assembly building to reach launch pad 39A. The payload, the European Space Agency's Columbus module. Columbus was transported inside a protective canister from Kennedy's Space Station Processing Facility, where it has spent well over a year being made flight ready. Now installed in the cargo bay of Atlantis at the launch pad, it is set for a flight to its permanent destination as part of the orbiting space station. The Houston-based international crew of Atlantis includes astronauts from both NASA and the European Space Agency. They will travel to Florida for a countdown dress rehearsal before lifting off in early December. Finally, in Orbiter Processing Facility Bay No. 2 here at Kennedy, Endeavour is undergoing main engine installation and a thorough check of its thermal protection system. The crew of SCS-123 will begin carrying Japan's major contribution to the space station, the Japanese Kibo module, as well as a Canadian robotic arm named Dexter. That's all the time we have for this week's Space Shuttle Status Report, your inside look at NASA's three space shuttles as they're prepared for flight. Until our next report, stay with NASA TV and visit www.nasa.gov slash shuttle for the latest in mission news. For the NASA Space Shuttle Status Report, I'm Danny Zeno.